Welcome to IFRC's learning platform. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create your profile if you're a new user, you're not a staff member of IFRC, and you'd like to create a, a profile to use the learning platform. So registration is free, and it's also required in order to access the learning opportunities, courses, and materials available through the platform. So here you will, you will see the homepage of the learning platform. At the top right over here, you will see the language. You can select the language of the platform, so you can go from English to French, Spanish, Russian, and Swedish. But for now, we'll go back to English. There are specific tutorials in, in other languages available on the Learning Network's uh, blog. So in this case, we want to create a new user, so you want to create your profile. And this will take you, this is the screen on which you are going to define the parameters for your user. So some of the information provided could be shared with the Red Cross or Red Crescent National Society of the Country of Residence mentioned. Under the Division field, you can choose either your country of location or your Red Cross, Red Crescent National Society of affiliation. So in this case, let us say that oops, we want to register a user called Learning Platform. So Learning Platform test. So this will create a, a, a username which will be assigned and it's very important at this stage to write down your username because you will need this, you will need to be able to recall this in order to log in to the learning platform in the future. Language is important as well. This will determine both the interface of the learning platform as well as the language for a course that's available in multiple languages. If I select French, then I will be offered the French course, preferentially, even though I can, of course, manually select another language. So make sure you choose the language that you're most comfortable with for learning, in this case, English. Next is division, which I've already referred to. So this can be potentially confusing for some users registering for the first time on the platform. It's called division, but what it means is really your country of location or your Red Cross, Red Crescent National Society of Affiliation. So if you're not affiliated with the Red Cross or the Red, Red Crescent, that's okay. You can still register on the platform. When I click on that little, uh, that little blue icon next to the word division, I get a long list of all of the divisions available through the learning platform. So again, this is where you live or the national society you're affiliated with. So I, I can click through this list. There are 193 options. In my case, I want to choose Algeria because I want to declare my affiliation with the Algerian Red Crescent. So I will click search here. And here is then the search result. And then you click on that. And that will select as division Algeria, Algerian Red Crescent. Then is the question of my affiliation. So here there are many options. If you're not a Red Cross, Red Crescent uh, member, if, or you don't, you're not affiliated with the Red Cross or the Red Crescent in any way, that's fine. Just select not affiliated in this, um, in this menu. Uh, if you're a volunteer, there's a menu item for you. If you're staff of your national society, staff ICRC, staff IFRC, staff United Nations or partner, select the correct option. In my case, again, I'm staff IFRC, so I'll select that. And how did I hear about the platform? I will say other. Now, this is not mandatory, but um, we do appreciate it if you take a few seconds to tell us how you discovered the platform. So the important information here is your username, because this will be required when you, register, when you log in to the platform in the future. So now I can click Login. And... Uh, then this is where I get to choose a password. So I will type in my password here, I will confirm it there, and now I can log in. So the password has some characteristics. It has to be between four and 20 characters, and it cannot be a password you've already used. So here I have now come to the learning, to the IFRC learning platform, and I can start to look at it to access some of the uh, learning opportunities available. Thanks for listening.